Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, what have the Inghams been up to? That is the question. I have one or two things that I need to discuss with you regarding uh, the Inghams in general, but mainly Chris, right? Because Chris now must be a little bit skint because he's going back to his his whole um, making 10k in a day sort of um, scenario and there's some little iffy adverts that I'd like to draw your attention to, such as this one. So forget the text for one second. Behind the text, you can see he has a picture of his daughter, right? With the, um, the big slogan across it. This is rather unfortunate, isn't it, Christopher? The biggest scam of all time, right? And that is plastered right the way across his daughter. That's right. The biggest scam of all time. Is that how you feel about your daughter? Is that how you actually feel that she is an actual scam? However, if you look at it another way, you could possibly say that you're kind of being a bit truthful because your daughter is being used on the daily basis since she was, what, six or seven years of age um, to... to you know, you're using her as a scam in order to make money. It's kind of, I think you're being a little bit truthful in the sense that you didn't mean to be truthful, if you know what I mean. I know what I mean anyway, right? So <laughs> the point is anyway, it's rather silly to, uh, you know, call your daughter a scam, you know. I know that that's not what you meant, but there's no way that I would associate my child with a scam. That's basically what you're doing. Um, yeah. Anyway, stupid as as it is, stupid is as it is. Um, he, he's going for some sort of um, course selling exercise yet again. So he goes on to say, it's nothing to do with you buying a course. <laughs> Sorry, that throws my theory out the window straight away. It's not to do with you buying a course, this course buying exercise. Sorry, my mistake. Moving on, moving on. One that actually does make you rich. Yeah. It's nothing to do with you buying a course. It One that actually does make you rich. Don't know doesn't make sense doesn't it's the notion that we are meant to get up every morning trade all our waking hours at a job usually one we hate well speak for yourself christopher i kind of enjoy my job right a lot of people actually do enjoy their jobs you are the one with the notion that most people don't enjoy their jobs in actual fact some people yes it's a means to an end some people enjoy the interaction with customers you know you could be working in a shop on um at the checkout and you could actually enjoy talking to people every day you however would hate that kind of job because you don't enjoy talking to anybody at any time but you see what I mean? Some people enjoy what they do. Some people don't enjoy what they do. Granted, but you're kind of throwing everybody into the box that um, usually people hate their jobs and that's not entirely true. I don't think, is it? You do this for 40 plus hours per week and still you're broke at the end of it. <laughs> I... I feel it's quite insulting, though, to be honest. I feel it's insulting. So, basically, he's saying that you trade all your waking hours at a job. So, you wake up, you go to your work uh, for about 40 plus hours a week, and you're still broke at the end of it. Um, again, some people are, some people aren't. I don't know where he's going with this. It's him... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Chris, you're broke at the end of it, right? That's, so maybe he's talking about himself. I don't know. So he goes on to say, you repeat the cycle every single day, every single year, for the best 40 plus years we live. We, we're alive. 
all for maybe 10 years at the end of being free. But still broke. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So basically he's saying there that we do this endless cycle of being broke for working and broke and working for the best 40 years that we're alive. Also that at the end of all of that toil we will get 10 years maybe at the end where we are genuinely free but we're still broke at the end of it but that's not necessarily true either is it christopher because if you are working 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 and you're paying into like a pension or something like that you'll then get enough to live on whilst you're you know free at the end of it if you're not working obviously there's a different thing you know and maybe you might not be as financially free some people <laughs> i don't want to dig myself into a hole here but you know there's lots of different scenarios for lots of different people um chris here is saying that he is um he's going to be really rich and really well off at the end of all his life because apparently he is investing this i'm not quite sure what in but it's not in his kids futures so i don't know if that's um what his investment's in um he's uh, i mean most of his money has to be going to his kids though so i don't know where he why he thinks that he's personally going to be financially free when he's retired <laughs> because you know all the um, the vlog money that they make put that into like a pot divided by six kids that he has it doesn't really leave a, a very much <laughs> left over anyway so what do you reckon guys is chris as um financially free as he's uh saying that he is what, what? <laughs> i still don't get it if i'm being honest with you because he says at the start of this it's not about a course so what is it about anyway he wants us to um find out what it's all about by clicking or commenting anyway speaking of comments there was this one in the comment section which stood out and um it's got me a little bit angry to be honest Somebody says, I just wish I could afford the payment you need first. And that's a very valid question or comment. Chris replies, there's new payment plans on the course on my stand store. So go on then, guys. If you cannot afford the payment, you can actually make a payment plan and therefore you can afford the payments. So what are you waiting for? Um... <laughs> But Chris also had the following to say. you got to start to change your life somewhere if you want it that bad. You only get one shot at life. So he's saying that if you want it that bad, you will make the change and you will pay the money and you can make the change that way. He goes on to say, you only get one shot at life. Start putting away small amounts every week. Sacrifice on some of the luxury items you might usually buy in. Put the money aside and soon enough, probably sooner than you think, you'll be able to jump into this. Um, so basically saying, you gotta make sacrifices in order to make the change, in order to, you know, pay his <laughs> for his course, in order to um, to, to do this right. Uh, so basically, what he's wanting you to do, and he's not shy at saying it, is you, you got to sacrifice somewhere so that you can pay him. Right, you've got to make the sacrifices um, of all the luxuries, you know, food and stuff like that, I guess, in order to to pay him to so that you can make the change. But the important part is to pay him the money that he wants. So sacrifice is, is what's in order. Yeah, sack eating, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking. Anyway, he goes on to say there are other biz business models that can make a lot of money too definitely enough to cover this cost ones that don't require an upfront cost like this my escape the matrix ebooks are full of them so the other option there is obviously to buy his ebook and there those ebooks will give you an idea of how to make the money in order to then pay for this course right so it's all about 
you know, making the sacrifices, making, finding a way around it in order to pay for the courses which he is providing, which will make you rich and yet not made himself rich yet because if he had made himself rich, he wouldn't need to flog these courses. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know why people don't get it yet. The, the essence of these courses that he's selling is to resell the same courses and people need to know that that is how he is making the money because there's no secret money making scheme that he has that has made him rich enough in order to not sell the course you see it's a vicious cycle now chris aside from you know you trying to sell people to get out of the matrix and things like that how about maybe protecting your kids a little bit more you know because the comments such as this that appeared on your vlog the other day somebody said sister adolescent girl red hair tickling i i'm not quite sure in what context that was supposed to be but um i'm thinking just putting it out there, Chris, that this is maybe an inappropriate question, comment, statement, whatever it is, right? Now, it could be completely innocent, but don't know, right? Don't know. Don't know who this person is. Don't know what their intentions are. But the point is, that's not an appropriate statement to be making about your children, is it? Unless, of course, unless you actually encourage this <laughs> and we all know that you don't encourage you know inappropriate behavior towards your children don't we you know you are um just no also when it comes to inappropriateness um you might want to monitor once in a while what your kids are getting up to on their own social medias because i know that you like to encourage like free and not a free enterprise what's it called F not freedom of speech freedom e expression right freedom of expression um, but when it comes to social media and your kids, they have thousands of people hanging off their every word, you know, it becomes a bit of a problem when they start putting out content like this. So this clip got a lot of backlash loads of comments such as this saying this is awful beyond words it should never have been allowed on here and they're right they're absolutely spot on that wasn't the only comment there was loads of them right so many so that esme herself had to put up a post and said guys calm down this is a joke for fun it's a silly trend we see everyone doing and wanted to join in now i want to say two things here right firstly not everybody who's posting this sort of thing has the following that um, the inghams do so esme's account is not private so she can't technically post what whatever she wants to post because it's not private and she's not posting it to a few people or even a few hundred people there's like hundreds of thousands of people going to be watching these sort of things right um her parents need to teach her this secondly uh, yes it is in fact a trend right um i found all these um similar type of things on tiktok uh, where people are doing the exact same thing but one thing i did not spot during the entire search and research that i did is i didn't see one single person doing this trend who was acting out animal abuse right um i think one of the major things that people had an issue with was the fact that they were basically kicking and beating a dog right that was the thing that was the the joke if you like but nobody else has done that nobody was doing that and that is the part that people got a little bit upset about and that's you know um 
at the end of the day, it shouldn't have been posted. The Inghams, Sarah and Chris, they do not ever monitor their children's social medias. Otherwise, this sort of thing would not get passed and would not be allowed to be posted, hopefully. <laughs> Mind you, it wouldn't be, wouldn't surprise me at all if Sarah saw it and thought, "Yeah, that's fun. That's that's a good idea. That's a good, it's a good shout." Um, or Sarah would look at it and think, "Yeah, well, people are going to be a little bit upset about that." But just think of the algorithms. Just think of the interaction we're going to get with that. You know, she does that. She uses that a lot to Sarah because she thinks that we're going to get a bit of hate on this, but never mind, we're using our children to hate, and, you know, get people to hate on our kids, but it's okay, because we get some interaction, we get some views, and we get some money. That is the thought process with Sarah. Anyway, those are the things I wanted to talk about today. Um, not really much going on with uh, their, their little lives at the moment, I don't think. Um... No, no, there's nothing, there's nothing, uh, nothing um, special that I can really discuss because they're, I think they went shopping. Did they go shopping the other day? I didn't watch. I haven't been watching for the last couple of days, but I think they went shopping um, and cleaning. I, I read something about cleaning the, the kitchen. Didn't Esme has cleaned the kitchen and cleaned Isla's bedroom? <laughs> Something like that. Fuck me, it's boring. <laughs> Jesus. They lead such interesting lives. I can't tell you just how, how, how interesting it is. Why anybody watches that, I have no idea. Anyway, until next time, please give this video a thumbs up if there's any reason to do so. Um, comment all of your thoughts about it down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Until next time, have a brilliant day, take care and bye bye.